Hello, I'm Gus Downing, publisher and editor of the D&D Daily, and this is the Loss Prevention News Network. Here today with Melissa Mitchell, Director of LP and Inventory Control, Lifeway Christian Stores, and Chair, NRF LP Awards and Recognition Committee. Melissa's been leading this committee for quite some time and has done just an incredible job of incorporating it into the program at the conference every year. And we wanted to take the opportunity to visit with her and let her explain the history, the various awards, and the critical part this process plays in the overall scheme of the industry. Melissa, thanks and welcome. Thank thanks you. Thanks for, for having me. You know, why don't we start by just talk, giving us a little bit of a history on the committee itself and the reason it was formed and how it came to be. Well, when I came to the council eight years ago, Gary Johnson was the chair of the committee, mm -hmm. and Dan Doyle had just suggested and pushed through the first award, uh, which was the Law Enforcement Partnership Award, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a fantastic award that that recognizes outstanding contribution by our partners in in the um, private sector, uh, excuse me, public sector in law enforcement, and the work that they do with private se private sector individuals such as ourselves. Um, the next year, I took um, the position as chair of that committee, and we were able to create a couple new awards. One award um, was the Loss Prevention Case of the Year, mm -hmm. which is um, it, it's a fantastic award because it gives us the opportunity to recognize uh, what all of us either do or have done in our careers, which mm -hmm. is work cases, and have somebody who's worked a fantastic case be recognized in front of all of their peers. Mm -hmm. um, another. Uh, award that we committed, or a recognition program rather I would say, is the Ring of Excellence. Mm -hmm. So the Ring of Excellence is our Lifetime Achievement Award. It's, it's like the Baseball Hall of Fame for loss prevention. And um, we have had to date 20 individuals inducted uh, into the Ring of Excellence. And the last recognition program that we have in place is the Volunteers in Action. Mm -hmm. um, and that really recognizes individuals in our loss prevention ranks who go above and beyond in terms of uh, volunteering to serve the people and the communities in which we live and work. Mm -hmm. And that includes the solution providers and yes. the LP executives, the retailers, the whole community of LP. Correct. And that, that's really what the community of LP is made up of. Is mm -hmm. It's not just uh, loss prevention individuals. It's, it's the service providers that are our partners and that we turn to for solutions on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. How many people sit on the committee, And if I may ask? And, Five. Five people? Yep. And what's the process of submissions? I mean, how does you find out about the investigation of the year, the investigator of the year, and, and, and all of the various awards? How do you come to that decision process? What's the process? Well, anyone who's nominated for any of the three awards mm -hmm. um, that, are, that are voted on, which is the Ring of Excellence, the Law, the Law Enforcement Partnership Award, and the LP Case of the Year, um, all submissions are made through the NRF website mm -hmm. and then they're reviewed by the committee to see if they match the criteria for the award. Mm -hmm. If they're certified as you know, uh, hitting all of the criteria and, and being a go forward case to be voted on, then all of the cases that go forward uh, and have been certified by the committee are then put forward for a vote by the council. Mm -hmm. um, volunteers in action uh, is just basically a matter of submitting uh, individuals' volunteerism and, and the activities, again, through the NRF's website, mm -hmm. uh, and then we roll that into a, a presentation during the award ceremony. So it's, it's also the retailer submitting that information to your committee. Correct. That's really the, the vehicle. Correct, and, okay. and it's so critical that retailers do that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a fantastic way to acknowledge um, you know, police departments who have, who have just 
done a fantastic job on a difficult case and, and filled in, in you know, the gaps and resources uh, that, that we as loss prevention individuals don't have. And it's a way to recognize um, you know, just excellent performance in your ranks mm -hmm. by loss prevention investigators right. who have had a fantastic case and what a better place to be, uh, to be recognized in front of all your peers. Can you share the recipients uh, of the awards this year? We spent some time with Dan Doyle earlier for the Ring of Excellence, which is just one of the most gracious human beings I've ever worked with and yes, known. Yes, he is. You know, who are some of the others? Um, the Loss Prevention Case of the Year this year went to Barry Vaughn from The Gap. Mm -hmm. uh, he's with Old Navy under Gap Brands, mm -hmm. and he had a fantastic case uh, involving credit card fraud. And um, the winners for the Law Enforcement uh, Partnership Award were uh, FBI agent uh, Vincenza from the uh, FBI field office in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, agent Bajorquez from the FBI field office in Los Angeles, and uh, Sergeant Theaker from mm -hmm. the LA County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. No, a very active group with the ORC organization, yes. LAPD. And yes, such. yes, and so. they 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 worked a a, a case together uh, with a retailer, mm -hmm. and uh, had great success. Mm -hmm. You know, each year you you play a rather extensive video during the presentation here at the NRF. Can you talk to that and tell us about how you put it together, how the team puts it together, and and what you try to include um, in that presentation? Well. The, you know, the, the video has, um, has kind of changed uh, this year. In years, in years past, uh, the video was put together actually uh, in-house at Lifeway. Uh, and, it, and it really, the, the first year, it really started out uh, being put together using Movie Maker at our kitchen table. Uh, <laughs> and the voiceovers were uh, my kids who I dragged out of bed and said, read this and sound like you've just been through a hurricane mm -hmm. uh, because I felt like we needed those voiceovers. Sure. Um, and, and as the years have gone by, uh, Lifeway stepped up and, uh, and offered our services uh, in terms of our video production teams um, to, to kind of roll it more into a movie. Um, and then this year, the NRF has uh, graciously uh, had a production crew mm -hmm. that has taken the entire thing and, and really made it uh, it, such a great video that I hope the rest of them are locked in the vault so there that you, you can't go. tell that they were made at the Mitchell family table. <laughs> we all start somewhere. Yeah, well, <laughs> they need to be in a vault. And, so. and your efforts have been just incredible over the last well, few thank years. thank you. So the whole industry owes you a thank you from that perspective. The individual achievement and individual work is, is just incredibly important and recognizing it for an industry sets the standards and the role models for tomorrow. So. And, and all the young executives out there need to be able to understand that, know that, and, and, and reference it, and, and look it up on the NRF's website. Um, one last question for you. With the conversion of, or the rebranding of this conference to NRF Protect, what are your thoughts? What are your impressions? Where do you see that taking it? Well, you know, if, if you think about it, um, and, I, and I, I made mention of it today at the awards ceremony, um, it, someone years ago, asked me to describe, it was at a seminar, describe what you do in three words or less. Uh, and what I said was, we fix things. Um, and maybe I should have said we protect things. Uh, because frankly, it's, it, it's almost one and the same. Um, and, and what we do in loss prevention, I would submit that, that those of us who have been around a long time and have decided to make this a career, it's, it's not that we are the way we are because we're in loss prevention. We're really in loss prevention because fixing things and protecting things is in our DNA. Mm. I, I would say that we're probably very similar when we're not at work uh, mm. as we are when we're at work. And mm. so I think that, you know, to say uh, protect and have that uh, be the word that encapsulates everything that we do uh, can be very accurate. Mm -hmm. Even even with the awards this year, uh, in terms of the, the Volunteers in Action video, you have an individual that's uh, giving swimming lessons because um, she wants to make sure that no children drown because they fall in a pool. You have an individual that's a fireman because he wants to protect people's property and their lives when their house is on fire. And you have a group of people that ride hundreds of miles to raise money uh, for cancer research because they want to protect people against dying from cancer. So it, it's really applicable across all levels. Mm -hmm. Wonderful story. 
And Melissa, I'd like to thank you for taking the time today to share this information with us and congratulate you on your commit your, you and your committee on the oh, great work you. it does. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, industry recognition programs play a critical role in establishing the standards of excellence that all of us should strive to achieve in our professional lives. And the NRF's LP Awards and Recognition Committee has done a superb job of identifying those executives and cases that act as perfect role models. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and now we'll go over to Amber.